So today you're going to learn how to finish off a stretch bracelet securely so that it won't break. We're using Stretch Magic, which is a clear monofilament stretch cord that we carry at beadshop.com. We carry it in sizes 0.7, which is what I'm using with these, and also 1.5. So I'm going to add a little charm embellishment to the end of this one before I start tying my knot. like this, and then you're going to bring your cords together. You don't need a huge tail, so if one is just really long and then really cut it off a little bit more. So you start with them parallel, and you're going to tie three knots, and they're just overhand knots. So first I'm going to start with left over right. You're going to bring the left over the right, the tail around back, out the front, I'm going to pull it, and I'm not going to pull it super tight. If you do it super tight when you go to put it on, it's going to probably break. There will be too much tension, so just so it closes. And then now you're going to go back and do the opposite. You're going to do right over left. So bring it over, around back, around the front, and then pull, and then one more. And you're going to do the opposite of the previous one. So left over right around back, through the front, and pull. Then you're going to pull it a little bit in the reverse direction just to really lock that knot in. Make sure to test fit your piece. It should slip on easily, but it shouldn't fall off while you're wearing it. So this one's pretty good. It could stand to be a little bit tighter, but... Then now to secure the knot, we're going to use GS Hypo Cement, which is a clear jeweler's epoxy with a super fine precision tip. So you can come in, dab it on the front of your knot, and make sure to coat your knot, but you don't want to glob it on, otherwise you'll glue your beads together. Then around the back. And then let that sit and cure for a couple of hours before you cut the tails off so it can come in and really seal the knot. And if you're really concerned about your beads, you can tie a second knot next to it, but I found that the one knot does just fine. So as simple as that. A quick and cheap holiday gift. We've used some of our lovely Big Hole Pearls and Spacer beads, and I tape off the ends so that they don't all slide off until I'm ready to finish it. And what I'm going to do is this makes for a big knot. So you're going to want either a large hole bead to hide your knot in and it may require some experimentation before you actually go to finish your final product to see what bead will cover your final knot. If you have a large crimp cover that will work too but most people only have the standard one so use a big hole bead in a pinch. So you're going to take your tails again, line them up parallel, and tie a triple overhand knot. So start with your right or left. I start with my left, left over right, around back and through the front. Pull it so it's taut but not too tight. And then reverse your direction. You're going to go right over left this time, around back and through the front. Pull it. And then your last knot will be a reverse of the one you just did. So in my case, I'm going to go left over right. Pull it tight again. And you can see it makes for a pretty large knot. And then I'm going to take our hypo cement and seal the knot up. And this is a good time to test fit it to make sure that you have the right length and also that your knot is securely tied because it will come undone if it's not securely tied even though you have these long tails. So you want it to slip on without having to stretch it out too much with a little bit of movement. And then you're going to let that glue set for about an hour to two hours before you cut the tails off.